Hi, I'm Dr. J. Srinivas, Associate Professor, Department of Mathematics, Minister of Aeronautical Engineering, Dundigal, Hyderabad. In this video, I'd like to discuss the question bank of the subject uh, ordinary differential equations and higher order, which is in ordinary differential equations and uh, vector calculus. And uh, I'm, I want to discuss in module two problems, that is uh, higher order differential equation solutions. See the problems, so solve the differential equation d cube minus one of y, d cube minus one of y is equal to sine three x plus e power x plus two. Clearly the equation is in the form f of d of y is equal to q of x. And it is a third order differential equation because it is d cube y by dx cube term containing in the given equation. So to find the solution, we need to calculate both complementary function as well as particular integral. The addition of the two solutions is the general solution. Now here f of d, what is f of d? It is d cube minus 1. This is f of d into y is equal to q of x. The q of x is sin 3x plus e power x plus 2. Now, the auxiliary equation, the auxiliary equation is obtained by replacing d by m, that is f of m is equal to 0 or m cube minus 1 is equal to 0. So, what is this a cube minus b cube? I can write it as m minus 1 into m square plus 1 plus m is equal to 0. So, on multiplying it get m cube plus m plus m square minus m square minus 1 minus m. m m cancel, m square m square cancel, still it is m cube minus 1. So, I am writing this is m minus 1 into m square plus 1 plus m is equal to 0. And this root, m is equal to 1 is one root and other one is m square plus m plus 1 is equal to 0. So, what are the roots of the equation minus b plus r minus root of b square minus 4ac by 2a or it is minus 1 plus or minus root of minus 3. What I can write is root 3i by 2. Therefore, the roots are 1 minus 1 plus or minus root 3i by 2. 1 minus 4 minus 3. Minus 3 can be written as 3i square. 3i square means root 3i by 2 as it is. So, one is real root and other one is other two roots are complex roots. The complementary function or yc is equal to c1 e power x for the first root and for the second root e power minus x by 2 into c2 cos root 3 by 2x plus c3 sin root 3 by 2x. Am I right? Because if the roots are in the form alpha plus r minus i beta, then the complementary function will be in the form or the solution will be in the form e power alpha x into a cos beta x plus b sin beta x. This is the standard format. Here alpha is minus 1 by 2. So, e power minus x by 2. Beta is root 3 by 2. c2 cos root 3 by 2 x plus c3 sin root 3 by 2 x. This is called equation number 1. This is the first part of the solution. Now to find yp, yp is equal to how I can write? yp is equal to 1 by d cube minus 1 of what is the right hand side function sin 3x plus e power x plus 2. The yp is 1 by f of d of q. q is sin 3x plus e power x plus 2 and call this is equation 2. Now, I am going to calculate individual values. Now, what is first I want to calculate 1 by d cube minus 1 of sin 3x. 1 by d cube minus 1 of sin 3x. How to evaluate this integral in shorter method? Replace d square by minus 3 square. Here, what we have to do is replace d square by minus 3 square. That is minus 9. So, 1 by, I can write d square into d minus 1 of sin 3x or I can write this as 1 by d square instead of d square I can write minus 9 d minus 1 of sin 3x or I am taking out minus sin 1 by 9 d plus 1 of sin 3x. Now how to apply 1 by function of d on sin 3x. Now 
In the shorter method, we have to make this as a function of d square. That can be done by multiplying and dividing with 9d minus 1. So, minus of 9d minus 1 by 9d plus 1 into 9d minus 1. That is 81d square minus 1 of sin 3x. 9d plus 1 into 9d minus 1. a plus b into a minus b. 9 nines are 81d square minus 1. Now, you can replace again d square by minus 3 square. So, 1 minus 9d and multiplying with minus sign, 81 into d square, again it is minus 9 minus 1 of sin 3x. Or I can write in the denominator, minus 81 into 9, 9 months, 9, 729, 730 minus sign. Or I can write minus 1 minus 9d by 729. 9 ones are 9, 9 eights are 72 minus 1. Both are minus signs, so we have to add minus sign 731 by 730 of sin 3x. Now, what is the value? This is equal to minus 1 by 730 of 1 of sin 3x, that is sin 3x. First, 1 into sin 3x, that is sin 3x. Next, minus 9 into d of sin 3x. What is d? d means d by dx. So, d by dx of sin 3x. What is d by dx of sin 3x? The value is 3 into cos 3x. So, what will become is minus 9, 3 is 27 cos 3x or this is on multiplying with minus sign. It is 27 cos 3x minus sin 3x by 730. This is first part of the particular integral, 1 by d cube minus 1 of sin 3x. Similarly, we have to calculate 1 by function of d of e power x. Similarly, similarly, 1 by d cube minus 1 of e power x. 1 by d cube minus 1 of e power x. So, if you replace d for 1, here what is the method, a shorter method, replace d by 1. If you put 1, it is 0. If you put d plus 1, it is 0. So, I am writing in factor form d minus 1 into d square plus d plus 1 of e power x. I am splitting into two factors, d minus 1, one factor, d square plus d plus 1. Now, this is 1 by d minus 1 of, what is the first factor to be applied? d square plus d plus 1 of e power x. Now, replace d for 1 because here, e power ax, suppose if it is 1 by f of d of e power ax, what is the solution is e power ax by f of a when f of a is not equal to 0. So, if you replace d for 1, it is non-zero, the value is e power x by 1 plus 1 plus 1, that is equal to 3. Now, 1 by 3 into, now 1 by d minus 1 of e power x. So, we have one formula, 1 by d minus a whole power k of e power a x. If you replace d for a, the value is 0. In this case, the value is x power k by k factorial e power a x. 1 by d minus a whole power k, already we have seen in the classes, already we, in the concept wise, uh, we have seen the formulas. 1 by d minus a whole power, when you replace d for a, the value is 0. In that case, the solution x power k by k factorial into e power a x. So, here also when you put d for 1, the value 0. So, 1 by 3 into x power 1 by 1 factorial into e power x. Or what is the value? x e power x by 3. That is the second part of the particular integral. And what is the last one? Similarly, 1 by d cube minus 1 of 2. The last one. So, you can observe here in the previous slide. 2 is the last term. So, 1 by d cube minus 1 of 2. So, this is very simple. Just you replace d cube minus 1. 2 can be treated as 2 into e power ax model. E into e power 0x. Now, replace d for 0. That is 2 into 2 into e power 0x by replace d for 0, 0 minus 1 or minus 2 is the third particular integral, third part of the particular integral. e power 0x1 denominator minus 1, 2, 2 into minus 1, that is minus 2. That is the last value of the part of the particular integral. Therefore, yp is equal to, what is the first value? 
What is the first value? Already we have seen. 27 cos 3x minus, what is the other value? Sin 3x, sin 3x by, by what is the value? 730. 730. This is one part. Second part. 1 by d cube minus 1 of e power x. That is x e power x by 3 and then minus 2. So, this is the particular integral yp. Therefore, the general solution y is equal to yc plus yp. The general solution y is equal to yc plus yp. So, we have to add the complementary function and particular integral that will be the general solution of the given. Now, we see another problem. Uh, solve the differential equation d cube plus 4d of y is equal to sin 2x. So, what is f of d here? f of d is d cube plus 4d or I can write it as d into d square plus 4. What is the auxiliary equation? The auxiliary equation is given by f of m is equal to 0 that is m into m square plus 4 is equal to 0 or m is equal to 0 m square plus 4 0 or m square is equal to 4i square or m is equal to plus or minus 2i m is equal to plus or minus 2i so there are three rules 0 one root and plus or minus 2i other rules therefore the complementary function yc is equal to c1 e power 0x for the root 0 and for the other roots e power 0x into c2 cos 2x plus c3 sin 2x. These are the roots on the form alpha plus or minus i beta. Here alpha is 0. So e power 0x c2 cos beta x plus c3 sin beta x. Beta is 2. So finally what is the complementary function y c is c1 plus c2 cos 2x plus c3 sin 2x. This is the first part of the solution. Similarly, the second part of the solution yp is particular integral is equal to 1 by d into d square plus 4 of sin 2x. You can write to, uh, directly also 1 by d cube plus 4d of sin 2x. So, to, uh, to operate 1 by d cube plus 4d on sin 2x, we have to replace as per our model d square by minus 4. Then what we will get? d square minus 4 into d. So, minus 4 into d plus 4d, 0. This will be 0. So that I will write this is again in the same format. Just So, if we replace it, instead of d square minus 4, minus 4 plus 4, 0. So, if 0 means you have to go for another approach. So, that means what, what you have to do is 1 by d square plus 4 of first operate with 1 by d sin 2x. 1 by d means integral sin 2x. That is the value 1 by d square plus 4 of minus cos 2x by 2. Integral sin 2x integration minus cos 2x by 2. That is 1 by d square plus 4 of minus cos 2x by minus cos 2x by 2. So, that is equal to minus 1 by 2 I am writing outside 1 by d square plus 4 of cos 2x. Now, again if we replace d square by minus 4, minus 4 plus 4, 0. In this case, we have one formula 1 by d square plus b square of cos bx. That means what? When you replace d square by minus b square, the value 0. In this case, x by 2b sin bx. It is the value. The simple formula x by 2b sin bx. So, what here you will get b is equal to 2 
So x by 2 into 2 cos 2x or this is minus x by 8 minus x by 8 into cos 2x. This is the particular integral yp minus x by 8 cos 2x. Therefore, the required solution y is equal to yc plus yp. So, what is yc? Here c1 plus c1 plus c2 cos 2x plus c3 sin 2x minus x by 8 cos 2x. This is the complete solution of the given differential equation. This is yc and this is yp. So, yc plus yp is the total solution of the given differential equation. So, here we have in this one complementary function one model. So, particular integral, in particular integral we have e power ax sin bx or cos bx and then x power k, e power ax into v of x and then uh, these are the models uh, in, the, in our syllabus. And also we have one more model that is called the method of variation of parameters. So, these are the models of particular integral. If the right side function e power ax, we have to follow one procedure. If it is sin bx, we have to follow another procedure. If you are a x power k, we have to follow that procedure. e power ax into v of x, we have to uh, suppose uh, to adopt uh, some other procedure. So, the already we have given the full concept. Now, I am applying, if e power ax, I am applying that formula, right? So, likewise, I will do another problem. Mm, what is here f of d? All are a similar type. First write f of d, then what you have to write? The auxiliary equation is f of m0, that is what m square minus 4 0. So, m square is equal to 4. So, m is equal to plus or minus 2. The roots are plus 2 comma minus 2, roots real and distinct. Therefore, the complementary function yc is equal to c1 e power 2x plus c2 e power minus 2x. This is the complementary function of the given differential equation. Now, the particular integral, the pi is yp is equal to 1 by d square minus 4 of 2 cos square x. But what is the formula? 2 cos square x, we have, we have, we don't have any direct formula to apply the particular integral. So, I can write what is cos 2x, cos 2x is 2 cos square x minus 1 or 2 cos square x is equal to 1 plus cos 2x. I can write 1 plus cos 2x. So, that is 1 by d square minus 4 of 1 plus cos 2x by 2. No, not, not 2, 1 plus cos 2x only. 2 cos square x is 1 plus cos 2x. Now, I can apply 1 by d square minus 4 of 1. 1 means e power 0 x. That is, you can write 1 by d square minus 4 of the second part is cos 2 x. So, just replace by d by 0, then it is minus 1 by 4 is the first value. Just replace d by 0. So, then e power 0 x, 1, 1 by 0 minus 4, minus 1 by 4, the first part is over. Now, what is the second part? Replace d square by minus 2 square, that is minus 4. The value is minus 1 by 8 into cos 2x. Just if you, the function of d square, just replace d square by minus b square. Here b is 2 cos bx. So, b square 4 minus b square minus 4. So, minus already this is uh, d square minus 4 minus 4 minus 8 minus 1 by 8 into cos 2x or this is yp is equal to minus 1 by 4 minus 1 by 8 cos 2x. This is the particular integral. Now, on adding therefore, therefore, the required general solution is y is equal to yc plus yp. What is yc? c1 e power 2x plus c2 e power minus 2x. And what is the third one? Minus 1 by 4. minus 1 by 8 cos 2x. This is the yc and this is yp. 
the combination of the summation of the two values is the required general solution. So in this way, you can solve the problems in second module. All are essay type questions. This also you can do that. This treat as homework. Just I will find the complementary function. You have to use a sin a, sin b formula. 2 sin a, sin b. What is 2 sin a, sin b? What is 2 sin a, sin b? 2 sin a, sin b. How you can write? Sin a minus b minus sin a plus b. Suppose if you expand this sin a, sin, sorry, cos a minus b. Cos a minus b cos a. Cos a cos b plus sin a sin b. Minus cos a plus b. Cos a cos b minus sin a sin b. So on cancelling out these two, you will get to sin a sin b plus sin a sin b. That means what? 2 sin a sin b. What is sin a plus b formula? Sin a plus b is equal to sin a cos b plus cos a sin b. If suppose sin a plus a, sin a plus a means sin 2a. Sin 2a means sin a, again it is cos a, sin a cos a plus cos a sin a, 2 sin a cos a. This is sin 2a formula, sin a cos b plus cos a sin b. But 2 sin a sin b can be written as cos a minus b minus cos a plus b. Cos a minus b means cos a cos b plus sin a sin b. Minus cos a plus b means cos a cos b minus sin a sin b. These two are gets cancelled. Sin a sin b plus sin a sin b. That is 2 sin a sin b. So what I can write on the left hand side is and just I will write here the formula. Sin 2 sin a. Just I will recall the formula. 2 sin a sin b can be written as. What is the formula? Cos a minus b minus cos a plus b. So just keep in mind this formula. While finding the particular integral, I will apply that formula. Then what is the d square plus 1? First find the complementary function. What is the complementary function? So to find the complementary function, you are required to find the roots of the equation. Here f of m is equal to 0 is the auxiliary equation. That is m square plus 1, 0. So m square is equal to i square. m is equal to plus or minus i. Therefore, what is yc? yc is equal to c1 e power 0x into c1 cos x plus c2 sin x or e power 0x1. So, the complementary function yc is equal to c1 cos x plus c2 sin x. That is the first part of the solution. Now, it is required to find yp. Now, yp is equal to 1 by d square plus 1 of sin x into sin 2x. But what you can write sin x sin 2x. So, I can write 1 by 2 into 2 sin a sin b. 1 by 2 multiply with 2 and divide with 2. Then it is 1 by 2 into 1 by d square plus 1. 1 by 2, 1 by d square plus 1 of 2 sin a sin b. That is cos a minus b. Cos a minus b means cos x minus 2x. That is cos minus x. Cos minus theta is cos theta. Cos x minus cos a plus b. That is cos 3x. Cos x plus 2x. Cos 3x. So now 1 by 2 into and applying 1 by d square plus 1 of cos x first term. 1 by d square plus 1 of cos 3x. So 1 by 2 into 1 by d square plus 1 of cos x. Just replace d square by minus b square. The denominator is 0. So the value is x by 2 sin x. Here b is equal to 1. So x by 2b sin bx or x by 2 sin x. Minus here on replacing d square by minus 3 square. That is minus 9. Minus 9 plus 1. Minus 8. That is plus 1 by 8 into cos 3x is the required particular integral yp. Therefore, the required solution y is equal to yc plus yp that is c1 cos a plus c2 sin x minus 1 by 2 into x by 2 sin 2x plus 1 by 8 into cos 3x. That is the 
this value just I copy down here that is the yp and this is yc the general summation of these two is the general solution of the given uh, differential equation so these uh, problems have been taken from uh, the question bank of the course differential equations and vector calculus and the regulations are bt 23 published by iare so with these few problems uh, solutions to conclude my lecture uh, thank you like share and subscribe hit the bell icon for more updates